Hi there, it's Debbie from Our Vagabond Travels, and today I'm bringing you a little bit of a shop with me, and then I'll have the haul portion. I went to the Brass Armadillo in Goodyear, Arizona, and had a great time. They had a 20% off sale off the whole store, so I was able to find all kinds of great stuff. I love, loved this lamp. And then they had a lot of great mid-century mod booths that I just adore. I love the pebble art. One of my favorite things is pebble art. This booth just had some really cool stuff. That's like nail, some sort of nail heads that they painted. There was so much to look at. A lot of treasure craft. Just a lot of really cool stuff. I love those owls. I've seen them before. I can't remember the name of them. The Lucite Grapes. Yeah, just yummy. I um, There was music in the background, so I have to do the voiceover, which is a challenge when you really don't know what you're doing editing, but I'm learning. Loved the macrame boho. Very cool. Some cruel there. And then I just kind of took a little bit of video here and there of um, some booths. I thought those dishes were pretty. Of course, you got to take a little peek at the frog there. And a lot of the booths, you know, there was not enough um, room, wiggle room there for me to to buy stuff, but then every now and then I just hit something that I ended up with probably about 45 items when all was said and done at the end of the trip. So I thought that was a great, great day. And this was in the morning. It was not very crowded at all, but as we went along, more and more people came in, so um, we headed out after we had spent quite a few hours there. <laughs> this booth I did um, end up finding something in. I can't remember if that was actual Wedgwood or not, but it, if it was, it had a great price on it. I don't know why I didn't pick it up. <sighs> That little rabbit. I didn't even see the rabbit behind there. It's funny what you see when you're going back and editing and looking at it because it's so hard to shop when you're video videotaping. And yeah, there's blue glass because I always pick up the blue glass. <laughs> I can't help myself. <sighs> And then I went over here. There was all kinds of little figurines. And I ended up looking at that little sugar bear, which I should have I should have picked that up. <laughs> I I think it was like 5 or 6 dollars. And then I saw a little bit of vintage Christmas this little shoe here, the elf shoe. I ended up, I did take that. Yep, there it goes in my cart. And I think that was it for that booth. Oh, yeah, and here's the mid-century mod booth. Okay, Fat Bird Finds here. <laughs> yeah. Don't you love it? That one was $125. Yep, just all kinds of pretty things. I think I probably could have spent four more hours in there. Yeah, more pebble art. That one was beautiful. 
So anyways, I hope you enjoy the haul portion of this video coming up. And all that stuff will be coming up in my next few sales. So thanks for watching. Okay, so here's the haul portion. And I'm telling you, I got the haul of all hauls. It was a great day at the Brass Armadillo. So I can't wait to show you all this stuff. I'll start with this. <laughs> I got this adorable brass mouse. So cute. Yeah, that was fun. And let's see, what else did I get here? Cute little basket. Great for Easter. And I got an Otagiri spoon rest. Still has the sticker on it. And let's see, I don't even know how I'm going to do this because I, <laughs> I have everything just stacked around me in my little trailer. Uh, let's see, I got a little bit of Christmas because when you find a little bit of vintage Christmas, you got to grab it. It's just getting harder and harder to find. But I just thought this little elf boot was adorable. And then I stumbled upon this which I thought was so cool. It's like a gravy boat and it just pours out of his mouth. He's really cool. And it says, um, shorter and son, uh, Stoke on Trent, England. And so I got this and then the under tray, I paid separate for that. And now I'm kind of kicking myself because they had, uh, plates with it. They weren't huge plates, but it's just so hard to carry in the RV. So I just went for this uh, gravy boat because I thought he was so unusual. But I love it. Sorry about the camera angle. I um, Today is live sale day and I had everything packed in the truck trying to be more organized. And uh, then I realized that I had packed the tripod. <laughs> so it's this is sitting up on an art easel right now. <laughs> find a spot. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> then I found this. I just thought it was really sweet. And on the bottom, it's from Gretchen to Virginia. It's left in. Oh, Virginia, you're such a good friend. <laughs> Very cute. We just had a great time. We were in there for, I don't know, I think four hours. I think I spent in the brass armadillo. <laughs> yeah, I have a very patient husband. I'm telling you. And then I got this hand vase. It's a uh, USA. It's a weird flaw from when it was, um, manufactured but it doesn't tip or anything so it sits it sits great so and then i got these i unwrapped everything this time because i thought that rattling paper might be too much <laughs> these little salt and peppers just beautiful for spring and the squeakers don't work but they're way cool Lots of detail in them, and the colors are really pretty. And, you know, they take all the tags off, so you have no idea how much you paid for anything anymore. I have a, a detailed re uh, receipt, but, you know, I didn't want to go through the whole thing. <gasps> Look at these! They're so cute! Little salt and peppers. No stoppers, but they're adorable. There's some wear on their um, gold, but oh, they're so cute. And then I got this, which I'll clean up, but I just loved it because it's got cherries and strawberries and grapes and bananas on it. 
um, and I think it'll clean up just fine. But wait, there's more. <laughs> I got these little horse candy carts and I'm saying two because this is the small one and I love all the detail in the glass where you can see like it's supposed to look like wood. Just so cute. And here's the big one. Yeah. They were actually from two separate booths. I picked up the little guy and then I found the bigger one. I thought they were really cool. And this is not vintage, but I just thought it was awesome. Blown glass. And it's actually made pretty well. Like when the um, fins are attached and stuff, it's not gloppy or anything. It's, it's very clean. And attached nicely but oh I love this pupper puffer fish I like to keep these haul videos like at 10 minutes so I'm, I'm trying to kind of whip through this a bit and then I got these ducks and this one's in great shape I don't find any chips or cracks on this guy but his partner has a few issues maybe Maybe they, I don't know, <laughs> but it was repaired nicely. Like there was a little chip out of this one, but it's been repaired. And I think there was a little chip in his tail, but they, their glaze is so nice. I did find a marking on there that said USA, and I figured it was because they're a little bit on the, you know, nice heavy side. So yeah, pretty, pretty colors. And I liked that there was the pair still together. And then I got this nice little bird. Again, the colors, the glaze are so nice. This one, um, I don't know, it kind of to me feels like maybe Japan, but I'm not 100% sure. And then I got a purple cow. How adorable is that? Does say Japan on the bottom, but she is in great shape. And I got a piece of McCoy. I love some McCoy. Look at that. Is that not a cool basket? Um, it did say as is. There's a, and they were nice enough even to put a little sticker here because there's a. Um, hairline fracture right here. I think you can see it. But I don't see that it goes all the way through. And it's got the McCoy on the bottom. And then I got two jars that were just screaming summer. And these are the, what are they called again? Um, Hildi, H-I-L-D-I. And again, I found one in one booth, the shorter one I picked up. And then, I don't know, an hour and a half later, I found this one in a different booth. <laughs> so I thought, oh my gosh, yeah, I'm getting them both. And trying to balance that this little guy so cute it is um, Lego Lego Japan it's got the sticker still on it oh my gosh I had so much fun like this was Valentine's Day and um, yeah I <laughs> spent it going through there he he's a good guy um, and then I got this I guess they were having this piece of tape on here to so the pin didn't get lost but um this would be great on the desk and it has actually the compass and the compass does work so yeah i liked that where am i gonna put it behind me <laughs> and then i got a decanter which this will be great for fall 
really pretty. I'll have to clean it up. There's some sticker marks all over here. And it does say on the bottom, 1967 cabin still. So I guess that was the type of alcohol that was in there. Collector's edition. And I got a couple pieces of custard glass. So I got the boy and girl praying. They're really cute. And they do glow because they're custard. Um, I don't know if it'll show up in here. But we'll try. Oh, yeah. Kind of, if I can get my hands out of the way. Anyways, they do glow. And I found one more piece of custard glass. You know, I'm liking custard glass more and more. Um, again, I'm just in weird lighting right now, but it does glow. There we go. Um, and it's the butterfly pattern, the Fenton butterfly pattern. I don't know if you can see the butterflies in there. So, no chips or cracks on that one. Actually, Hubster found that. Yeah. He's getting good. Um, and then uh, I did stop the other day back and saw my friend at Little Barrel Antiques in Casa Grande, Donna. And I picked up this pin, this vintage enamel butterfly pin brooch. And uh, so I'll have that on one of my sales, but one of the viewers had mentioned something about oh look at that that pin on that video I did so I think that's it yeah and I have a few more things found a couple tonal up and I'm holding that back and um there was a few other things that will be in today's sale today is the 18th I think February 18th so anyways thanks for watching and I appreciate it, all your views. And uh, if you would like to subscribe to my channel, I would absolutely appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks a lot.